Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. Today on the Belsif Show, when I go around a corner and instead of myself radio, I get a squealing front tire. So I'm thinking the tire's loose or I just can't win with this thing. I think it might be the wheel spacers. I'm thinking the wheel spacers are the root of all causes on this truck. But until I get an offset rim, we gotta run wheel spacers because I hate wheels that look like they're sticking way in, Jim. So let's get the jack out. We'll jack it up and see if we get a loose wheel. That's what we can do. Hey, just so you know, we'll wait for this tractor to go by. Broke window cap. I'm not sure if you're a fan of the old big trailer park boys there, but if you're not, make sure you go over there and watch the old mailbag version there. I sent the old boys there a couple shirts and stickers last week. They got my stickers. We're gonna send them some shirts. See what they think of them. Can't tell me you don't know what the trailer park boys are either, because if you do, you're lying to me. Friggin' right, you're lying to me. I'm just gonna rub my red shaft here for a few minutes and get this thing cocked up in the air. Figure out a spot where you can get her without taking things over. I'm going to think right about there. Yeah, let's do it right here. That way we don't have to wait forever to jack it up. We'll take her out with the old spindle. There we go. That was easy. And the tire moved a lot. Girl, something else is moving too. It doesn't feel like there's anything loose up there. Man, 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 man. What in the hell? We're going to pull out Mr. Monster friggin' doodad here. Look at that. I got her in the first shot, Captain. What is the chances of that? So first thing we need to do is take off these absolute useless friggin' wheel cover things that everybody knows about with the break your arm off 10,000 here. <coughs> One. <coughs> I can't really see anything at all wrong with this son of a bitch. It don't look like it's moving too much. I really don't know. To be honest with you, this truck is just making me scratch my head an awful lot lately. Because these look good. They don't look bad at all. What about in here? How you doing in here? You alright? Friggin' air compressor is cocking over the video. Thank you. Frig. That thing's fing loud, Captain. Well, I don't know. I've greased this, greased that. I've rubbed this a few times. Spank that off a couple times and everything looks good. New wheel bearings in here and everything. So let's just uh, put this thing back in forward drive here. And we'll just, you know, hit it again. Not with that though. Yeah. I need a new one of them too. And it seems like I found the right one. Stick that on there. And these are supposed to be torqued to whatever foot pounds. I'm just gonna torque them just a little bit more. That's That's tight. So those are all tight. So why is the wheel squealing when I turn? Frank. Well, we'll get the wheel back on, we'll tighten it back up, and then we'll try to check the other side because we might as well check the other side. Well, I'll tell you. Got the old Michelin back on here. The tire looks like it's wearing about right. Then I'm getting odd wear going on here. Stick this back on, and we'll take it back to 300 foot pounds of torque. Careful. Not with that one, we won't. Maybe with this one. Oh, maybe not with that one. Maybe with this one. Yeah, that's probably the one we want. <coughs> oh, careful. Hold on to her. <coughs> This is my theory. The worst thing that's going to happen is the wheels will break right off and then we'll know what wheel it is. So now that we're done that, I'm kind of tired of torquing these things to be honest with you. Every time I torque them, it doesn't seem to do anything for me. So I'm going to go over torque this time. Well, that doesn't feel too good. That's not too bad. That one's snug. That one's pretty good. That one's okay. And that one's okay. There we go. So let's spin this rig over. We'll move it up and we'll get the other side off and double check it too. On to the next side here. We're going to do the same thing. We're just kind of going to take the old motor masturbator here and crank her up and see if we can't get ourselves some raise on the old leaf bar suspension there. I think it went a little high again. Sure did, but if you're ever not sure, just push on it. She'll go. Ooh, this one's different. Let's go right there. See if we can't get her off the ground. Ooh, hey, ooh. Oh, she's coming up, Captain. You watching? Probably not. Just so you know, don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification bell bar button if you like this kind of stuff too. Why wouldn't you? She off the ground yet? There we go. We're good. 
So, let's get into this side now. It should have everything I need right here. And we're gonna check. Feels good, see? Nothing wrong with it. This is why I'm so confused right now. I'm gonna take you out for a drive after, see if we can't get a crack out of her. <coughs> Maybe one of you guys out there in YouTube land can give me some <coughs> thoughts. <coughs> you can tell me how long tight of them ones up. <coughs> but like I said, nothing stopped that thing. Okay, take a gander here. So, same on the other side there. I don't see any signs of cracking. Studs look good. We'll check the inners. Easy there, fucking knobby. That's the wrong size, just so you know. You don't need that one anymore. Feels good. 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 So it's not that. So we'll put this back on, and then we'll uh, go for another drive and see if we get any creepy crackies. Probably won't. Then again, who the hell knows? Do you know? Quarry minds want to know. There we go. It's always nice when you have the right tool to do this kind of shit, isn't it? <laughs> There's about 134 foot pounds of torque, maybe a little 500. Not very much. It's what you call torquing your wheels to the specs you feel like doing. Leave your comments down below if you're one of those guys. That feels good. Perfect. Let her rip, Tater Chip. Hey, here's a question for you. Anybody that watched Richard Rawlings or Cleese McFarlane, who came up with Let her rip, Tater Chip first? That there is a little argument I have with Steve, my cousin. She says Cletus said it first. I think it came from Richard Rawlings a long time ago. Leave her comments down below if you know. Why wouldn't you? I would. Oh, look at that. That's tight, eh? Should it be that tight? I don't know. We're going to find out. Now that I let you think about that for a few seconds there, it's a jack rubbing against the tire. All right, so now what we need is a break. Put it back in 20 minutes, right there. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna change the mounties, and we'll put you under the truck, and you can go for a drive under there and see if you see anything I don't see when I'm driving. Okay, can you see anything under there? I gotta make sure I've got a good grip here. That don't look like a good grip. You stay there and you let me know if you see anything. Why wouldn't you? we go i didn't hear any noises i'm just wondering if those rims get a little bit loose on them wheel spacers they start to crack and creak leave your comments down below if you have wheel spacers you can get some cracking and creaking because i want to know inquiry minds want to know but until i get some offset rims we're just gonna have to deal with it i guess but nothing's falling apart so it should be good there hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification i'm glad you're all here until the next one you know what to do for now